first iris has bloomed. Oh, irises are just glorious. Hopefully I'll have many more as the iris season goes. I do love irises and it looks great with the backdrop of the honesty, the purple honesty. And you can see all my geraniums from last that survived the winter. They're still in the vine house. And the last of the tulips, this beautiful big black one. The tulips are just toppling over and the hostas are coming up. Oh, I've got to show you something. Look at this. Look, it's black on top and white in the middle. Isn't that beautiful? I bought that at the Rare Plant Fair. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful kind of arum. So, more honesty. Look at those lugwort and I can't remember what that is off the top of my head, but the leaf structures are taking off. See all the different textured leaves. And then the columbine is about to all flower. No, that's not columbine. Oh God, me brain is not working, functioning properly. But I love all the different textured leaves. It's something I'm trying to actively achieve. Look at that for a tulip with its teeth. And then I've got a fondness for geums. Look at the geums. So more of those tulips. Look at this combination. Isn't that lovely? The blue and the geums. And then over here, look at all the bluebells and geums. Yay! And then these are an African kind of lily that are coming coming out. So anyway, that's that. Oh, and this is the beginning of the construction of the shallow steps for my parents to get up to the patio because they can't do hills really anymore. So that's where the holly branch banister is going to go. Hopefully that will work. Anyway, how are you, pup? What you doing? You clever boy. Yes, clever boy. Yes. The patio is looking fantastic in that the... Okay, I still haven't sorted some dead things that overwintered, but the king's blood tulips are looking spectacular. And I love over here these... this gradient of whites. There's these... Sea thrift is white. I think it's sea thrift. I could be wrong. I can't remember. This white tulip and then these guys. So, yeah. The peonies are about to happen. They're in bud. And we go along here. Look at all the, the um, arums are about to bloom. So we're getting there, slowly but surely. The season is turning. Loads of arums in this bed. This is the bed that has the dahlias in it, and I'm hoping they survive the winter. I've got to do a bit of dandelion weeding for the chickens. The chickens get those. Then these kind of decorative rhubarbs. One, two. This one didn't do very well last year, so I've got to dig that up very soon and transplant it in a more shady location that was too hot for it. Whereas that one was fine. It was literally around that corner and that wall protected it, as well as these big yokes. So yeah, slowly but surely, these are all coming to the fore. I love these. They're so amazing. And then these are the remnants of the tulips. I should really, cut them back down to there and let these feed these 
and let them die back. But look at this, next year, I'm gonna have to get some pink tulips because all of these, and instead of having these as orangey ones, have these as pink, because all these pinks, it was gorgeous when they were in flower. There's my rhubarb rhubarb that I eat. Oh, the wind decapitated a tulip. You can see the tulips are doing a bit of a dance. Ugh, looks like rain in the distance. So this is the table and here's more tulips and my black bamboo, which isn't as doing as well as I would like. Say lovey, that's life. Brindle? No. Java, you're never going to get one. You're never going to get one. <laughs> Guys, leave them be. Inca, enough, 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 enough. Leave them be. Leave them be.